Hi guys, I'm making dressing or stuffing as you would call it. I'm doing an onion and sage and this is old-fashioned stuffing. So right here in my pan, I'm going to add a half a stick of butter. There's the other half. Okay, and I'm going to add my vegetables. I'm going to add one cup of celery and this is frozen because what I do when I have extra is I freeze it. And this is one small onion. And I'm going to put that right in the pot. And I'm going to add my seasonings. And my seasonings are Himalayan salt, which is right there, Bell's seasoning, black pepper, and celery salt. I'm adding celery salt even though I got celery because it's going to give more flavor. So I have two teaspoons of celery salt. I have black pepper. I have two teaspoons of Bell's seasoning and one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. So I'm going to get that into the pot. I have um, eight slices of wheat bread. You can use whatever bread you have in your house. We use wheat, so that's what I'm using. So I'm gonna take my seasonings and I'm gonna put them right in there. And I also have some water. I have about two cups. You get a spoon. We're gonna to start to bring that up. And I'm gonna keep these for my compost. And if you'd like to see the video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be stuffing this with some herbs and spices and I'm going to show you that in the next video. So you just want to melt the butter and you want to cook your vegetables and if it's going to take a little while I'll let you go and bring you back when they are cooked. This is starting to melt and you just want to cook these until they are tender. They are still going to cook in the oven as well but I like to get them pre-cooked and you're going to see that's nice and dark. That's that sage. This is what's going to give you that sage and onion flavor. And this is a, my favorite stuffing. I do like making cornbread stuffing. I like to make a sausage stuffing. But this is the far best dressing and stuffing that I like. My mom made it through the years and she's no longer with me. She passed in 1982 and I've been making her recipes because I like the old recipes. I don't like the newer ones. I don't like to have bell seasoning. Sometimes I have to use that, but I don't like it. I'd rather have my own. So anyways, I'm going to cook this and I'll bring you back. I'm going to get my oven preheated and I'll bring you back and tell you what we're going to do in the next step. Okay, we're going to prep this. You want to take your hand way up underneath the skin. You want to release that fascia from the inside of the breast all the way up. You want to go up as far as you can go on both sides just like this okay I'm only gonna grab the ones I'm going to use these are dried I dehydrated them myself so I'm gonna grab four slices and we're gonna go way up and that's gonna come back and dehydrate because it's gonna be cooked so I'm gonna put two on one side two on the other and I'm gonna put my herbs in there That's going to give it a nice lemon and herb flavor underneath the crust. And you can remove them prior to um, eating or you can eat them because they're dehydrated and they got a lot of flavor. So I'm going to push that way up in there. Way up in there. And make sure after you wash your hands with an antibacterial soap and you spray your area, which you have used any type of meat or poultry, with bleach. So, I'm going to get my hands washed real quick. And I'm going to dry it off. i got to come back to my stuffing, so I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Okay, this is cooked down a little bit, like for two or three minutes while I was prepping my chicken. Now we're gonna add the bread. We're just gonna throw it on in there. And this is a uh, um, day old bread, one to two days. And that's what you want, and you want bite-sized pieces so it can cook down. You wanna stir that in with your seasonings. Then you wanna add some water. It doesn't have to be Hot, it can be cold because it's going to cook. You just want to combine all them flavors into your bread. 
and then add a little bit of water at a time. You don't want a lot. So that's about a half a cup. Just going to stir that around. You don't want a complete wet stuffing. You see, that, that to me is good. Let me just get this mixed up and cooked for like one to two minutes and I'll bring you back if I need to add any water. Okay guys, this is completely cooked. Look at that, how it's all come together. Now you want to stuff your bird and I'm not going to do that on camera. I'm going to stuff it and I'll bring you back to show you that I've stuffed it. Okay, this is all stuffed as much as I could get in there. So I had some left over. I put coconut oil spray in this pan. I am not cooking this when I cook the chicken because this is going to take longer than this. This would be 30 to 35 minutes after when I'm just about ready to take that chicken out. I'll pop that in so it can cook at the same time. So anyways, I will show you when I'm ready to serve this up. Okay, we've got the... Um, Orange underneath the skin, we are going to put some Obey on top. We are also going to put some thyme. Thyme goes great with chicken. And that's about a teaspoon in my cover. And about a teaspoon of rosemary. And I'm going to take a little bit and put it underneath the skin. And I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven. This is going to cook for 45 to 1 minute. 45 minutes to an hour. And I will check the timer prior to taking it out. It's supposed to read at least 165 degrees. So I'll bring you back. I wanted to let you guys know I dotted the chicken with butter. And I even put it on the stuffing. I'm also going to cook the... Um, pieces that are inside the chicken. These are the giblets. I usually cut them up prior and make a giblet gravy. So I'm going to get this in the oven at 350 for 45 to one hour and I will check it with my thermometer that's heat censored. I'll bring you back when I take it out. So I just took this chicken out and look at that stuffing. It just fell right off but there's the other stuffing already heated up. Some mashed potatoes and broccoli with garlic. I'm not going to um, serve this up for a while because I want to let my chicken sit at room temperature because if you, it's not room temperature but for about 10 minutes because if you cut your chicken it's going to be dry. Okay? So I will show you the stuffing. Not to even take a bite in front of y'all. Look at that stuffing right there. Or dressing. Oh my word. Unbelievable. And like I said, I'm not going to cut the chicken, but you still got the orange slices up in there. You got all the herbs on there. That's the extra stuffing. There's the mashed potato we're serving. And I did a uh, video for the broccoli and garlic butter. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the recipes. Bye-bye now.